Hello everyone. Hope you are doing well. Okay. Today we are going to discuss about templates. Okay. We will see how we can dynamically change the data inside a template. How we can uh, modify them. Okay. What should not be doing. What are good practice of, uh, you know, manipulating the templates. So you might have seen components in ReactJS as well, right? But in ReactJS and here, there is a very, very small similarity. You can see in ReactJS, we used to have a return, right? So we'll be having a functional component and a class based component. So in all of those functional based component, we are going to return in a div. So we are going to return a basically tag or something, right? So which will have all the relative tags and other things. Same here, we are going to return a JavaScript object, which JavaScript object can contain multiple child objects as well. Okay, so we'll see how we can manipulate the template. Let's move to our VS code. Here you can see uh, last time we created one simple application, but I have removed all of those things. Just clear your application here. You can see you should have just a background. Inside background, we are having width and height. So this is the width and height. Uh, basically, we are considering for our application. You can change this as well as per your need. But if you change it here, let's say if I'll make it uh, like 2000, okay, here. So it will not impact anything. It will go simply outside the canvas and which will not be visible to us. Okay. Let's say if you have to use it for a, for a different application, which does not support a 1080p, which will support a 720p. So we'll be using inside the settings. We'll be having app settings here. We can give our uh, aspect ratio as well as the other properties. We'll come to that point again uh, later, but let's see if I have changed this to 2000, what will happen in our application? how it will appear you can see it has no impact right nothing it is still showing the same way because by default the template by default our application will have 1920 by 1080p which is 1080p so if you want to see you can just see we are giving a runtime configuration here and we'll be having this width and height right we are giving inside the stage so if you want you can change these values as well let's go here We'll go to settings here. You can see inside the stage we are having this, right? You can go ahead and you can change this if you want. Okay, so let's say I was given 1920. Let me give it to 2000. Now this will change. This will width will become 2000 and height will become 2000. Now whatever the values we have given 2000 here, it will reflect in our application as well. Let me save it here as well again so that the application can rebuild itself. Okay, so we'll see this application currently is taking too much time to build, right? And every time it has to do a lot of processing. So we'll try to optimize this as well. We are having some properties. Let me see. Currently, this is still here and it's coming till here. Let me keep my mouse here and let me press the F5 so that can refresh. You can see it, it has increased its width, right? I, I did not move my mouse. It was here. So till here now it has increased right so this is the way you can increase your uh, the canvas as well the width and height so whatever this value you are giving in the settings this is directly uh, getting assigned to the canvas so how you can check that Just right click go to inspect go to element tab here you should be able to see a body in that you will have a canvas so in the canvas you can see here we are having a width of 2000 and height of height of a 1080 right so, but now we are going to again uh, revert it back to our, our normal position here. We'll simply remove these values. We'll go to our app.js. We'll be using 1920. That's the by default. And mostly most of the televisions and most of the setup boxes supports this 1080p. Okay. So now we will be creating. So I am having our uh, two poster inside images folder. That is image one.jpg and image two.jpg. I'm using these images. If you want, you can download these two images as well for your project. How you can download? Go to TMDB database, the, the movie dp.org website. Here you can see I'm having a transformers, and these are the posters that you can download according to your size. Here they have mentioned the size as well. Okay, so let's see. Let me create a poster tag here with a I will not give any properties here. Okay. That means nothing will be shown in the template for now. Currently, if I will save it, this, this nothing will be shown in the template. It will be the same because I have not assigned any property, any text, any color, no images, nothing. Okay. So now one more thing I wanted to 
tell you here whenever you give your property name okay here whenever you give you whenever you give a object name here just start with a capital letter okay if you do it with a small letter it may not work okay it will not work actually so make sure that whenever you create an object here inside this template you should have a capital letter okay so now how we can manipulate this where okay so we'll be seeing after this template okay we will be having couple of life cycle events okay so life cycle events in lightning js you can go ahead in this documentation and you can search for life cycle event we'll come to this life cycle event uh, later on but for now we'll be using one life cycle event that is init okay a test for the first time so we are going to use this init this move ahead here okay now how do i reference this object in this function so that i can update its properties right how do i do that okay so we'll be having this dot tag okay so tag will refer to this poster okay tag will refer to this template currently okay so now i have to search for this tag right poster so i will give the same name here it is similar to uh, sim consider it is similar to the document dot cat element by id consider this this is an id that you are assigning okay this is an id and you are going to use it so what we are going to now we are having a reference to this but currently there are no properties right what we want we wanted to add some properties to it how we can add we can simply do patch okay so we are we are going to patch an object here okay so what all properties we want currently we don't want anything we'll simply give a src we'll give a source source of what an image okay so how do i get to this image one currently we are inside a source folder src folder in app.js okay normally what we will do dot dot slash okay now we came here now we'll go to static now we'll go to images then again we'll go to img one dot jpg okay this is right away this there is no problem with this but if you see every time i need to use this dot dot slash and let's say if you are having a very big, big project it may create a problem right it may get confusing as well so right now let's keep it like this way let me save this file and once this this is saved we should be able to see a folder with which we should be able to see a poster in our ui here let me save it let me refresh it once it should come somewhere here in the top left corner you can see we are having a poster here okay so now we have a poster here coming up we go back here now okay currently the poster is coming up here okay now let's see if i have to uh, reduce the width if i have to uh, make it center okay something if i have to change it or something some property extra we can edit let's say if you have to change the property of this uh, simply you can give let's say 500 and let's say if you have to give a height so let me give it to 750 okay and let's say if you want to position it somewhere in the center okay so how do we do that there are multiple ways definitely uh, we can use flexbox as well which is provided in the lightning just we'll come to that later what are its benefit and and we should use it we should not use it but for now we are going to use x and y axis okay so it is similar to the canvas okay if you have uh, you know understood the canvas in national 5 that we are having canvas will also have x y whenever you do right you will do rect fill so you'll have that x y and other things that you need to give so we will be giving x let me give an x of x is nothing but a horizontal axis in the horizontal axis how much pixels you want that it should be given to x value okay so we can give something called uh, 1960 960 and let me give a, a y of half of this that is uh, this one so we'll give 540 that is 540 and let me save it it should come into the center okay let's go here let's see 
you can see it came right but it is in the perfect center and it is starting from this point right this is not the way i want it correct no i don't want like this so what we can do here how we can uh, fix it as we need okay so we are having something called mount okay so if you see we are having some mount properties here mount points okay, which we can use so we will be using here mount y as well as mount x anything it, it is up to you the way you want you can use it definitely not any so okay so let's try to use one by one these two properties mount x mount y and normally mount what both will do okay so let me see here let me give mount x uh, let's give 0 0.5 and let's see what it does if we simply give mine mount 0 0.5 and let's read the documentation as well you can see texture mount point to horizontal axis okay horizontal axis so you can see you can define texture mount points by defining separate values for mount x and mount y or by using mount properties which will be identical to mount x and mount y okay so they have given these are the values zero that is the by default that will be the top left corner okay 0 0.5 that will be in the center if you give one that will be in the top right sorry bottom right corner okay so if the file is saved let's refresh this page let's see what it reflects and how it will behave okay so now you can see it became it, it came somewhat into the center of this horizontal axis right it came somewhat okay now we have to align this to y axis as well so for y axis what we can do here we will give the same mount y 0.5 now let's see if it comes or not so what we are doing we are giving mount x to the center and mount y to the center let's refresh the page you can see it, it came perfectly center right the way we want it okay so this is the way you can center your images or text or anything okay so this is the way we can dynamically update our properties inside a poster okay now let's say currently we are giving each and everything right but avoid use patch why avoid using patch if you are patching something okay only one time that is fine but if you are patching it again and again, let's say if you have kept a patch inside an interval or timeouts or anything over there, which is patching lot of time, multiple time, right? It may create an issue with an memory. Okay. It may pile up after some time and which, which will give you a memory issue in the low end devices. So better avoid patch as much as you can. But if you have to use a patch for one time or two times, if you wanted to update, that should be fine. It's, it's not an issue. Okay. So how we can, let's say now you have updated the patch. If you have to remove this, okay, currently let's say you have given a background of this. If you have to remove this, how you can do this, how you can remove an element from your template. Okay. So we don't do, it is very simple. So again, we'll be using a different inactive life lifecycle component here and inactive is nothing but whenever this component js will become inactive this method will automatically get executed okay so now how we are going to uh, make this thing uh, uh what you call it a delete how we can delete this poster that we have created inside our template okay so it is not very much difficult simply what you can do is this dot tag poster and simply you can assign this an undefined so what it will do it will completely uh, destroy our this poster object okay and if you save it it should be fine this is the one way that you can do you can also do it for your child object okay let's see if you don't want uh, this way so let me show you here what you can do you can create a child child here like this way and paste it all the properties here and let's say if you have to do then you can do it here this way dot patch just go to child and colon then just do it undefined that's it it should be fine so these are the ways by which you can make your template objects or templates undefined this is how you destroy your templates okay so just pass the undefined okay 
So this was all about how you can change your uh, dynamically the template text images or anything. This is same way you can follow for follow for other things as well. So we will see you in the next video.